Here we go. Good morning, everyone out there. Let's see once. this. Uh, it is uh, September 6th. I'm coming to you from Smoky, Bozeman, Montana. We have fires sort of around the surrounding states and it's very smoky here. I am Corinne Braxton and I'm looking forward to spending a 45 minutes to an hour with you. Let's see if we're um, oh, there's Linda. I can see. Okay, that's, let me see if I can just find myself on my laptop now. I have to have that on mute. Okay, there we go. There we go. Good. Oop, no, I don't have it on mute. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, good. Let's see. I'm, well, I was just like, a, a mis I was looking in my catalog for the watercolor paper Oh, good. Thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate that, Lisa, Kathy. Good to see you. Welcome, girls. Um, so we are, oh my goodness, Labor Day weekend. I can't believe the summer is over. We still have high temperatures here. It would be good if we could get, excuse me, if we could get some rain. Hey, Martina, good to see you this morning. We have so many specials. I, I can't tell you how many specials we have. It's a lot. We have the Perfect Partners, and I'm going to be using that today. We're going to be using on the using the Fresh Cut Stems die and, and the Fresh Cut Flower stamp. And uh, last week we used the Piggies, and I've used the Apples so far. And um, it's really a great special. I hope you'll take advantage of it. These cattle, these like the fresh cut flowers is in our annual catalog. Um, I'll show you what page it's on. Maybe I'll show you what page it's on. Oh, here it is. It's on page one of 65. And it's a wonderful coloring set. If you like to color with your blends or watercolor pencils or watercolors, it's a great set. I have loved it. And the dies are spectacular. So it's a good set to own, I think. And it's only available during September. So that's one of our specials. Then we have weekly deals. And I don't even have a picture of that. You it's you have to go to the website. You have to go to my website or stampingup.com um, and you'll see the specials. And there are like nine things that are reduced in price just through today. Tomorrow... I believe, or maybe it's Thursday. Let's see, the 7th. Well, I think it's Thursday is when the new deals come. So like right now there's, um, a, one deal is Summer Shadows dies, and the dies go with this set. These are both in the catalog, and, uh, Shaded Summer, and they're, they're several dollars less than they normally are. It's a good set, and I have had the neatest card, I used to keep it right back here, and I've kept it for like three months, or not three months, two months back there, and now I can't find it. I don't know. When I cleaned up the last time, um, it went someplace. Maybe it's in a card box, and I have a lot of those. So anyway, that's a special. And then there's another special for World Card Making Day. That's coming up October 1st. Um, and if you'd like to be on my, my email letter, newsletter. I have all kinds of information there with my classes. So please, um, if, if those of you are late watching on YouTube or uh, later on Facebook, um, hey Jan, good to see you too this morning. Um, let me know and I'll send you my, I'll put you on my email list. Okay, we've got a lot to do today. I forgot to bring my table close to me. I forgot to pull it over there. I am, today I am using, I'm using Petal Pink. And this is a petal pink sweater. So, hey Carla, I'm good to see you this morning. I'm glad you're you're with us this morning, and you're not up. You're probably going to visit our mom later this afternoon. So, my sister Carla lives in Wisconsin, and she's been very, very faithful and diligent um, helping my mom and my other sisters and brother are too. But um, thank you, Carla. I'm glad you could be here this morning, and. Those of you, um, let's see, once we are going to do a lot of watercoloring today, so I'll sort of point things out as we do that. Good to see a lot of you here. Let's turn the camera down and close your eyes for a moment. There we 
we go. These are two cards that we're going, I have a class on Thursday, and these are, we're gonna be doing five cards with a fall theme, and these are two of those. I'm just using that to line up, and my little um, toolkit, I like to have things always with in reach. I put my phone folder back as soon as I use it. That's my little toolkit right there. Um, so that's my Thursday class to go or in person. And then on Saturday, I have a stamp camp. And this is the framed art that we're going to do. It's a little eight by eight. And we're doing three nautical cards. Uh, it's a morning class. And then in the afternoon, we're doing a technique class with watercoloring and a fish and a wish st uh, stamp and punch. So that's coming up. I have a full week. It was good that I had... A long weekend to prepare for all these things so we'll put those out of the way for now that's coming up today we are going to be using the stamparatus quite a bit and um, we're using shimmer shimmer white cardstock and we're using fluid 100 I love watercolor paper I've been doing a lot of I, I spent I did a lot of watercoloring this weekend and and next week you'll see a little bit also but I love our fluid 100 it's a really good cotton thick watercolor paper I don't know what the weight is but it's a really nice one and I love our shimmery paper it's a little more expensive than our basic white but it's really good if you like watercoloring or blending it works really well for that and we are using stays on so we are using stays on jet black and stays on is a an ink that has a is more alcohol based and this is the refill you always want to make sure you get both um, it's a solvent ink pad that you can use for water coloring when we use our blends we use black memento so you have to it's just a little different so you just have to remember that stays on comes in black and it comes in brown so this is the it's called saddle brown these are the two colors that we have in the catalog you know i've never even used my saddle brown i've had it for i've it's been in and out of the catalog i like it i just never use it um i use the black all the time so you definitely need to use a stays on cleaner that's so important oh my goodness it, it stays on is a very permanent ink and you have to clean that and I'm going to show you how I do that too. So let's get to our first card and so I'll tell you how this came about. Um, these are the cards that we're going to be making and they came about um, because I wanted to use this petal pink ribbon. It's a polyester ribbon. It is extremely nice. And it reminds me of ultra suede and it's so nice. So I decided I wanted to use a, a pink ribbon and I had a card from a couple years ago, I guess maybe last year, this card I made. And I like this format. Um, it's just a, it's like a gatefold with a flap on it. So I just had that one. I really wanted to do, so I wanted to use that pink ribbon right there. And so this is what I came up with. They're totally different cards. And we are, so we, this one, I looked in the catalog to see which papers had petal pink and both Abigail Rose and Texture Chic's Chic has that petal pink. So that's how this came about. And I'm really, I'm very, I'm happy with this. Um, we are going to, we're going to actually use the Texture Chic and not this one, but, um, and then they have it inside. They open up like this, just like that. And we're using Amazing Year. I tend to, that's sort of a go-to recently. Here's the same card with a different, uh, this time I used gold. And a little, this is the same paper. I mean, it's the same pack of paper, but different, different papers. So let's begin. And it's, they're not hard. Um, so let's start with, I've got everything marked, I believe, hopefully I do. And we're going to start with a shimmer. I used, I used the heavier weight shimmer for everything. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but because we're using watercolor, watercolor 
has this, it's a, not pure white like our, our basic white. And shimmer isn't pure white either. It's more like the watercolor. So it's four and a quarter by 11, just a regular top folding card. Only I creased it differently. I scored it at three and a fourth and eight and three fourths like that. And then we have our designer paper. Oh, it looks like I've lost one here. The, the bottom is three by four, top is two by four. Let me see if I can find it in my envelope. There it is. Well, maybe it's not. There it is. Here it is. This is the reverse side. We could use that. I really like the gold. I think I'll just keep stick with the gold. And we'll bring in our little silicone mat. Add that. I did not check to see about my... Re to see if, oh my. Oops. Tearing the paper a little heavy-handed there. I think this is such pretty paper. I just, I did some classes or videos many months ago when this first came out. I, I really like it. And uh, there's the other side. That. It's very pretty, very vintage looking. So there's our card so far. And then we are going to add a petal pink mat. The mat is going to go like that, and the mat is three and three fourths. I'm I'm sorry, no, three by four and a half. And the shimmer white that we're going to use as the background is two and three fourths by four and a quarter. So we'll just put that on there. We're not actually going to stamp on this. We're just going to attach it. But I like whenever I start using one type of paper, I like to carry it through. You can see the sparkle on this. If I hold it, if you get it close to the light, sometimes I have to even take it to the window to make sure that um, if I get it mixed up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just attach it on the top part. So I'm going to use my my Seal Plus. And remember, whenever you're using Seal Plus, you want to go slowly and gently and then tilt it back like that. So you're, you see how I'm just moving my hand back. I'm going to do another row of it, just sort of gently back. Add in right there. Just tip it back on itself. It works really well. Um, and then we're going to just attach it, just looking, making sure our borders are even. I'm sort of forgot about the comments. It's hard for me to talk and, and do and watch comments too, but I'll look at those in a little bit. Okay, that's our that's our piece, and we sh we can stamp. Um, we're going to do our, um, let me stamp with the stays on first. I'm going to bring in my piece, um, I already have this die cut. So you can, you know, you, if you're just doing one, you can always just stamp and die cut. And if you are doing many, it's much better to, much, much better always to die cut first and then just pop them in your stamparatus like this. I'm gonna back out a little bit from the oh there we go okay so whenever you're whenever you're using the stamparatus you have to you don't have to but it's nice to pop prop up that plastic plate and um, so I've already put my stamp in there and then it's attached to there and hopefully it didn't move while I was storing for the last couple days so I'm going to take my piece this is my template that I'm I I store this right in my case. And then I'm going to just pop, plop, pop it in there like that. Let me just check once first. Because I, I did have my magnets sticking and I, don't, I, don't, I only have one of these cut. I'm going to use my, my stays on. The beauty of using a Stamparatus is that if you want it darker, you can get it darker. I'm going to just stamp it right there to see how it's, how it's placing. Yep, looks good. Okay, so now we're going to pop that in there, just like a puzzle. And I'm going to stamp this up. Ink it up. And 
press it in place. Looks good. I'm going to add just a little bit more. That, that flower looks like it could use more. So, hey Patty, good to see you this morning too. There we go. Just, I don't like to press the stems too much because they're so thin. So they don't need extra usually. You can see they're dark. I think that looks really good. So now I can just take that out. And that's what we're going to watercolor. And then I'm going to save, I'll take my template and I will put it inside my, I've got other templates in there too. So I'll just keep it, store it right inside there. And I will take my, um, you can clean it right there if you want, but I'm going to take, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, you do need a, a special cleaner, like I said. I just I have to remember which is the wet and dry side here. And this is the wet side. I'm going to take my cleaner. It's, it's, it's probably, you can even leave it on that plastic block. But this cleaner is a little bit, it's not greasy, but it's a little oily or something. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to just sort of dab it like this. And then I'm going to take it, turn it over. And sort of scrub it. These little bristles, we sell these and you know we use these for, I used to have a set just for stays on and then others for my water spritzing. And then this is the dry side. And then we are ready to put it right back into the case. So I always save my 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 plas my piece like that and then I put it back in there. And I have all the other ones already mounted, so that's that. Okay, and now we will do some watercoloring and some other stamping. So let me get my, we're going to use some, um, we're use some Petal Pink and Calypso Coral and we're going to use our water brushes, our water painters. These come in a three pack and one is very, well, I'll just take them out right now. They're, um, this one has a broad tip. They're filled with water. I'm going to use that in a minute. And then there's one that's sort of medium like that for both bigger areas. And then a tiny one. Very, very tiny. It's a wonderful brush. You can see how that is. They, these are all filled with water. So let me tell you, the very first time Stamping Up came, you might even have some old ones, but most of the time you know, unscrew things like to the right, like that. Well, these are just the opposite. So you fill them up with water right there, and then you everything is backwards. I don't know why they did that or who, what where these were made, but they're wonderful. I really like them. They're much nicer than the ones we used to have. So we, our older stamp heads that were maybe 10 years ago, uh, this is pear pizzazz. You could, you could just squeeze them like this and you can open them up. We're going to use that little well right there. And, but our newer pads that we've had for the last four or five years are like this, that open up like a compact, like that. These you squeeze you press down and you can squeeze and that's how you get the ink. We're going to, you know, like, like that. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with the, uh, we're not going to use flirty flamingo yet. We're going to use that for stamping. It's a little darker than the petal pink. And there we go. So we will do, we're going to do the stems first. I'll just set that out of the way. The first thing that we're going to do See if I can get that zoomed in now. Get my okay. Get my reading glasses on. I'm going to do this very quickly. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and I also have just a little cup of water. This is just plain water, and I'm going to just um, there is water in here, but I like to clean my brush with that. And I am going to. You can squeeze. There's a place that even says push for getting the water out. But I'm just going to put a thin coat of water on my flowers like that. And that's all I need to do with that big brush. 
and then I'm going to come in with my smaller ones and I'm going to use the tiniest one and I'm just going to make a little puddle like this and I'm just going to with the, with the watercolor paper it's just going to sort of bleed I'm going to you know, there's going to be white space and that's the way watercolors should be you should have white space if your paper is too wet it'll bleed off the edges and I don't really mind that at all because that's sort of how true watercolors are there they're more impressionistic than totally accurate. So well, maybe I'll use the little bigger one on, on. It's a little big. Well, I'll use it on this one for sure. And you can always go back and, back and add more color. This is pretty light. I'm doing it sort of quickly. That one's, I must not have gotten that wet enough. And let's see what's here. See how you can just, you can do it as quickly as you want. You don't have to, just like that. Let me see, well, I'm gonna do this little part right here and then we'll be done with that. And um, then we'll switch out of, out of this. So we have, um, we're gonna do water, we're gonna watercolor these with the petal pink. And uh, that's this one. And then I'm going to do just a little bit of Calypso in the center. So I'm going to make it a little watery here. You can always add your re-anchors too. Um, you can... Uh... So I'm just going to... There, there we go. See how... It... You don't have quite as much control with this bigger brush, but um, and it's starting to dry. You can tell how it's on um, the water paper is starting to dry a little bit. It's not as wet as it was when the leaves were there, but that's the key is you always want to wet that watercolor paper first. Okay, and then let's take in, we're going to take some, some Calypso Coral. And I'm just gonna sort of I'm just gonna add a little bit of scent to those, just like that. I'm not trying to be exact. I'm just trying to just trying to add a little bit of, de of color. Now I am not. I love to watercolor, but I'm not. You know, I'm I'm not real proficient at it. Um, now these little tiny pieces, I am going to. I'm going to actually use my blends on those i'm gonna i did on the other one i did it uh, with the with the watercolors and they're just really they're just too it's too much so i'm just going to dab it with my my very fine tip just put a little bit of color right there and that's all we have to do and that is done so that one is done and we can take that away and uh let's bring our card back in and we can put it, I think what I'll do, I'll let that dry for a second and we'll put the ribbon on this. This is, this is how, this is the reason for the whole card was this ribbon and uh, this petal pink ribbon. So I used to, um, I sewed all of my life and uh, I had, there was a time back in the seventies, we were first married, my mother-in-law, uh, Terry's mother, bought some ultra suede for me to make a dress. It was one of my prized possessions. And it remind, this ribbon reminds me of that. And um, it wasn't pink, but it was a, it was sort of a smoky blue. Oh, I can't quite get that. I'm trying to make this so that it, oh, I know what I'll use. I'll use my tweezers. This is the reverse tweezers. Um, I should have gotten the one out. This, I keep my reverse tweezers that stamping, stamping up cells in my, with my water, with my, embossing i'm all fingers on here not you so there we go um so i can just hold that this holds it in place like that that works pretty well it's a little bumpy but it will work and let me get my ribbon scissors here snip it i like to make the ends be reversed so that one points up that one points down um 
Okay, and now we can just, we're going to be able, I've, I'm sorry, I've got this way out of the camera. Um, let's see once here. Okay. There you go. I have, now we're going to put our dimensionals on this. And what we'll do is we'll just put it like that. Bring in my dimensionals. And I'm just going to put those on there. So, hope you all had a good Labor Day. We didn't really do anything here, but um, I actually just enjoyed time getting to spend time in my craft room. I will be going to Wisconsin next week on the 13th. So, my mom is improving, and uh, she's still, she's not quite, she's not herself by any means. Um, since this terrible fall, she's had two bad falls. She's been in the hospital, three different hospitals. I think she's been in three different ambulance rides. But she did have her st st stitches taken out this weekend, and her head looks good. And hopefully she doesn't fall. She's in a really nice rehab center right now. And we hope that she can stay there for a few more weeks before she goes back to her apartment. And now I'm just going to slide this in. It's a little hard to slide it in because we have dimensionals on there but I'm, I mean you could obviously do this there we go and press it down and there we have it and we should have probably stamped on our inside first but we didn't I didn't um that's always a nice thing to do um just because then if you make a mistake when you start it then you can start over again I'm going to use a uh, flirty flamingo this is just a a little cousin to petal pink I think it's just a it's a darker color and I like using it um well I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like so this is going to be this is petal pink I'll do the flower in petal pink and I'll do the words in flirty so I love this silhouette stamp it is I've been doing some really cool things with vellum and blends and uh using this and that will be another video so that's the petal pink, and it looks pretty dark there, and that's probably because it maybe still has some of the, some of the um, ink on from the first one I, I did. So I'm going to do um, happy birthday. There, oh, the crooked. And we can, I can always, well, it's not too bad, I guess. It's good enough. There we go. And happy birthday. You're an entire year more amazing and lovely as ever. That's sort of a nice saying, I think. So that's our card. It really can't tell much difference. My little uh, example didn't work real well to show you, but anyway. And now we're going to put some gems on. Well, let's see what's on this one. I used um, iridescent. This one I used gold because of the paper, so I think we'll use gold again. I don't have a lot of gold left. These are the uh, red and green adhesive back pearls. And hey, Nancy, good to see you this morning. Um, they we have these. These have been on back order. I am not sure if they still are or not. But um, so sorry, I keep getting out of the camera. Better just zoom out. Maybe that'll help. There we go. And now I'm just going to put three of these on. I'm going to put one, two, three. I love my Take Your Pick tool. It is one of my favorite, favorite um, pieces of equipment, tools that I have. And there is our card. And if you want, you could add a little bit of Wink Estella. Let's do that. Let's get our Wink Estella pen out. And it's always good to... Um, test it on something else. Let me just pull a little card out here. It says, do not disturb. I always have to put my phone on do not disturb when, when I, before I make a video, but then I have to remember to take it off. I want to get it to make sure it's, there we go. That's my little reminder card when I start a video. And so now I'm just going to take this and just put a little bit of Wink Estella over that. You can even water, you can use these with your water paint, with your, um, your, your wells of your inks too and, and paint instead of instead of using 
one of these, you can use your Wink of Stella. It's got a really nice fine tip. So that's another, another watercoloring clue. So there we have our card. And um, I think it's pretty, pretty good, except for a little bit of crookedness there. And um, that's the first one. We're going to do another card. Oh, here's another one that I did out of the same. This one I used uh, Calypso Coral. I, no, I used, I used Petal Pink, but I did a second layer in Calypso in the middle. And I used a gold ribbon and a gold frame. So do you see that? And this paper has mango in it. That has mango and Petal Pink. Thank you, Jan. Okay, there's that. And let's do our, our other card. Oops, I think everything just dropped on the floor there. So we'll see what happened there. This is the one we're going to make next. And it's using the, set, the same set. And only this time we're going to use some different die cut pieces. So we're going to use some of that distress gold. And... Let me show you. I should have done this in the beginning, but this is all the dies that come in this set. There's the one we just did, and there's there's another one. We're going to do this one, and it has all... We're going to use these stems. We're going to use those. We're going to use this. Um, I just put those on... Die cut them all and put them on a... And these are... I think these open ones are really gorgeous. It's a, it's a beautiful set. Um, so let me tell you what, how much it is. It is, the stamps are 34. No, no, the, the dies are 34. So if you already have the stamps and you just want to buy the dies, the stamps are $34. The whole bundle is $50.25. And that's because it's 10% off. So, okay. We are going to, um, we're going to use lots of little pieces this time, lots of, uh, lots of the die cuts, and we're going to use some the paper that has mango in it. So let's start with that. I'm going to leave this out so I don't forget it. So it's the same type of card. Happy birthday. I don't know. I need so many birthday cards. I just had two to write this morning. Do you see that edge? That's what we're going to do is put it right there. So let's do our stamping first today because I just remembered. Okay, we're going to use our same, same layout. I will have this all typed up. And it will be, I will put it on Facebook and I'll put it on YouTube. On YouTube, you have to click the little right arrow underneath the, the video. And remember, those of you on Facebook and YouTube, YouTube, it's different. You can subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you did. You can like, you can comment, you can give thumbs up. All those things help grow my business. So the shimmer is four and a quarter by 11. And we're going to score it at three and a fourth and five and three eighths, just like we did before. And then you can, I can see a smudge right there. And then we're going to stamp it right here. Hey, Carla, thanks. Thank you. Okay, um, this one we're going to use a little different. Uh, Carla said it was good to be watching again. She has missed for the last several weeks. So I'm going to do some fl flirty flamingo. We're going to use to a wonderful friend. There we go. And we're going to stamp the inside. You're an entire year more amazing and lovely. And then I'm, sta I'm standing up and stamping like that way down there. And then let's get a little uh, tag out for our... This one I might have to it's do sitting down because I cannot be so far away and, and get it correctly. So here we have it. And I'm going to ink up the happy birthday. This one is a little tricky. I'm going to pull it closer to me. Oh, it's a little bit cattywampus there. Let's try another one. Well, and I have this one. I know I have, um, I, I had this. Let's try one more. Let's see. The third one's going to be the charm. There we go. My head was right over it. I may, You may have seen my... The roots of my hair but i don't know um it does help to get your to be able to do that on a small piece um so that's our our front piece and i'm going to put it right there 
And we're done with the flirty flamingo for a minute. And now we can put our card together. So we are going to use um, So this time I have a gold, I used our, our dies, our scallop dies, and a circle, plain one, white, and um, I used the shimmer paper again. Actually, I put both, I put two, I cut it double and put them, glued them together because I'm going to be, you're going to be seeing half of it. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to just put this on like that, and we have And put that on and we have um, this piece I'm going to just add like that and you know when you use the silicone mat it does the glue won't stick to it so that's the beauty of that and I want this we're gonna put it down like this I just want it to stick out a little bit Wait, let's, I better, you know what, I just better put my uh, designer paper on so that I know what I'm doing, actually. Um, let me see once what happened to my paper. I'm going to look at my little envelope and see what I have here. I don't have any paper. So, let me see once if I have some over here. Like what I did. There's one piece of it. I wonder, I just had it this morning. I just had it with me because I was actually measuring it. So it might have to be. What did I, what did I do with it? I literally had it a moment. I mean, I, I wrote up some directions on my, on the, and I had it in my hand. Um, hmm. Don't know what happened. How strange. Let's see once here. We have um, I am sorry, I'm still looking here. Maybe we'll just change it up. Let's see once. Anyway, I can't I was going to do so this is what we were going to do, and I was going to do the reverse side. But maybe we could, um, I could still do that. We could do that, and I could cut it. It's four inches. I'm sure I will find these pieces that are already cut. Um, we will, this was going to be for the envelope, but we'll change it up. So, okay, that'll be, that'll be that. That's going to be for the bottom. And we can use could use that but I like that better or we could use that that's sort of interesting but I think we'll just use it that way um the other thing we could do is put it like that but I think we'll just do that it'll work it's it's amazing because whenever you get on the camera it's so easy to lose things even though you're all prepared for them let's put this let's try it like that this time so, and then we'll have two different versions. You can see. Just going to leave a nice little border around there like that. And we're going to put... It, mango is a funny color. It's, a, it's, a, it's not... You just think, oh, I don't know if I really like that color. But it really can add a lot to some designer paper and stamping. Okay, that looks good. Good enough. I think we're going to do that. And now let's put on this little strip. Oh, there. There we go. Um, we're going to put this on. We want it to be... And I actually put that on the wrong... The adhesive on the wrong side. So now it's going to be sticky in the wrong place. Oh, my goodness. There's lots of mistakes here today, but that's okay. We're going to make it work anyway. And we're going to just put it on like that. So what we want to do, you are probably all watching me and saying, oh my goodness, I hope she knows what she's doing. Because um, I think it was better that I waited at least. Um, so I'm going to use my, my just a little bit of Tombow right there. We're going to cut off some of this. And I'm going to just put it on like this and 
and I'm going to cut it off. So I put, do you see what I did? I put adhesive on the wrong side there. I will probably have to fix that with something, maybe um, another piece of it, he, of designer paper, because it's otherwise it's going to stick to that and keep it closed. Okay, but we can make it look, but isn't that a pretty edge on there? I really like that, that edge. So now we're gonna put this piece over it and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it like this so that it doesn't okay and now we're going to take this and the reason I wanted it to be gold on both sides I glued it together is because like that oops the daisy oh no <laughs> it's never great to have a water container open at the same time is it oh my gosh I don't have a towel near here either. Let me see, just hold on. Good thing I had that, um, get a bunch of Kleenex. Get this all mopped up. Oh, goodness gracious. We have a mess. Okay, but it's gonna be okay. And just a little bit more Kleenex and we'll get, I just don't have any, any paper towels near, nearby. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me get a, uh, another silicone mat just to keep it in place there. And I think we're pretty good with the card. I got a little bit on there, but not too bad. So now we have to finish this part of it and we're gonna do our stamping. Um, and I have already, let me see if I can find my pieces. I have already stamped it on some watercolor paper using my Stamparatus. And we are going to um, sort of do it the same way. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. The embossing buddy on the sticky. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great tip. The embossing buddy is perfect to get that sticky off. Um, Yes, thank you so much for that, that idea, that tip. I'm gonna use um, soft succulent this time for the leaves just because that's the color that's in right there is soft succulent. Really good tip, that embossing buddy, and we have that in the catalog, it's wonderful. Um, it comes with, they, we, they discontinued it for a while and they brought it back with, uh, oops, now I've got my blends in there too. It's tricky right here. I've got everything close by so you can see it. Um, they brought it back with a tray and I will do some, I'm going to do that one of these weeks is some um, embossing. Okay, I'm going to take my little tiny pan, get it, get it a little wet. You can push it with your, push it out of it coming out of here. Um, I don't want it quite that wet, but first of all, we have to make, give it a, just a little bit of a, a swish with our water, just plain water like that. And then we want to get our pink, our petal pink, and I don't want to get too many things going here before, so I don't tip things over again. Okay, and I'm just going to, it's important to have the water on just a real thin lay, oh, wrong thing here, that's a pod, it's like a seed pod. Um, I better put my glasses on though. And okay, I'm gonna maybe put a little green on those on the tops of those. And that's all for that. I oh I see I see another leaf that I forgot. dark. It's very tiny. And uh, let's see what's here. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of mango. Let's see here we have, uh, I better push that one because it 
you can always, if you don't like to, to do it this way, you can um, always add your reinkers right directly to your, um, right here. I do if I have, if I'm doing a swap and I, I have a lot to color, but if I'm just doing a little, this is a little green, um, let me just get a little bit more. You can, you can do it either way, but it, I think it works a little better from the back. Press on it with the heel of your hand. And really put your weight into it. There we go. There we've got some color. Now you don't want to touch your your brushes to your to the actual ink pad. Keep getting some of that green in there. Thought it was clean. There we go. And this is the mango. Here's the one that I missed. I'm doing this very, very quickly. But that's sort of how watercoloring is. You don't need to take your time too much. You, don't, you just want to give it little swipes. Okay, and I think I'll just put a little bit of mango in there for now. And close that up. And let's get our petal pink in. Make sure we have this clean. My Kleenex. I don't know why I didn't bring paper towels, but I, I, I didn't. I, I had some in here before, but I ran out and I never brought some new ones in. So this is the petal pink again. It's a little neat. You can tell the paper's drying a little bit, so it's a... Like that. Now I could take my Wink of Stella, just like before I showed you, take my Wink of Stella, dip it in the same, and um, actually it works quite well. You see it's already starting to get a little sparkly. Like that. So, just like that, and clean that off a little bit so you don't. Next time you use your Wink of Stella, you don't get the pink all over it. And let's see, I think we just have to add a little bit more of the, the, the mango to the center. Just a little bit more mango right here. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know why that, maybe I used flirty flamingo or something. I don't know why it's so much darker. Let me use, I want to use the, let's use the Calypso. We're going to use Calypso on this. I want it to be darker than the petals. There we go. That's the way I, yeah, that looks good. And now we'll let that dry a little second. And let's bring our card in. Here we have it. And we're going to do some, we've got our birthday. Oh, I, I stamped it on this one rather than um, the, the label, but that's okay. It doesn't make any difference. Let's bring in some other pieces. So I've got, I want you, what do you think? Do you think I should use the mango or the gold? Which do you like? This is like baby's breath. I've got two of each. I well, actually, I think we're going to use the mango just because I already have tear, I have adhesive on it. So you don't have to vote on that. I'm going to, let's do that. We're going to, I, I did remember, I did the gold without, and then um, I remembered to put, because otherwise you have to take your Tombow, and the camera's falling, this is all falling down now. Um, otherwise you have to use your Tombow and do it in a real fine, okay, see how I can just peel this up now. There we go. That's really, I'm glad I remembered that. So. It is extremely fine, just like baby's breath would be fine. Um, I'll just leave it like that. And we're going to put it on like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. Take your pick tool and just sort of pick away at something to get it going. There we go. Pull it, pull it. You know what? I'm going to move this water of that I have out of the way. So... Because I thought, oh goodness, only, only on Facebook Live could, could you uh, spill water all over your project. Okay, there we go with that. And 
Now, let's see, we have some seed pods. Let's see, I think I have those. I think maybe I, I don't know if I put the adhesive on the back of those or not. I did this a couple days ago. Um, oh, I did, yay. I think this is really a nice one too. This die cut, this flower, isn't that pretty? Um, so we could put that, we'll put that maybe on the inside or something. And we've got two little of these seed pods and I'm going to, we're going to put those like that and take, take the pick tool and get that off. Maybe. There we go. It's always so nice when you remember to use those adhesive sheets. I like them a lot. I just don't remember to use them until it comes time to um, start gluing. And then I think, oh no, I should have. I think a lot of people feel that way. There we go. Okay, where did we put our, there it is, our little piece. We're going to put that on next. So we got these down and we got these ready to go. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on that and bring in it. It will be almost finished. Look, I'll just cut one of these from the end here, or two, so they're like a half size. There we go. And take a pick tool to. I love how it just keeps all those dimensionals right on the end. And I put it in my little waste basket. And once in a while you see them in the house, but not as much as it used to. So, um, okay, now we're just going to put pop this on like that. Isn't that pretty already? And then we've got these little dudes, these little flower things. I can just put them maybe like that. Got the other one like that, and then we're going to pop this up right there with some with our couple dimensionals. And so I think what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to use this. This is perfect. I like to cut these and use these for edges. It'll work nicely. And then we can just peel that off. After this is over with, I will get everything all typed up and posted, and I will put it on YouTube. And, and okay, so whoops, it's a little bumpy there, but it, I think I must have too much there. But it gives you an idea, isn't that a, it's a pretty card. Same, same basic, and I'm going to put some of that embossing on there, just like you said, Martina. Great idea. I'm going to use the other stamp, this little designer stamp. And I think I will put it um, right on the bottom edge. So I'm going to tap it, tap, 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 and stamp it a couple of times like a spray. There we go. There's a little, a little spray of flowers right there. And there we have our card. Very easy um, card sketch to follow. Um, I hope you'll give it a try. And then I have these other pieces left that I could do. Oh, I thought it might be nice having, oh, I, I like to, wanted to put a gold bow on too, like that. We could do that. It might be a little much, I don't know. Just see. What do you think? Bow or no bow? Maybe a little much, I'm not sure. Okay. And there we, this is the other one that I did. So this was the one with the, the other pieces. It's with the mango plaid. Oh, we need some, we need some gems. And I'd like to use these self adhesive um, gems. So they come in, that's actually supposed to be red. I love these, they don't have holes in them, but I almost, that almost looks like a pretty color on there. Maybe you could put gold, maybe I'll put the, I think I'm gonna use that color, I don't, it, it doesn't look very red. It looks sort of rosy. Um, I think it looks just... I think it'll be just fine. Maybe not real straight here, but... Let's see if I can get that one off and put it on. 
Again, there we go. There, I think that looks good with those on there. This is a nice set of sequins for sure. I really like them. So there we have it, girls. Um, let's turn, oh, I was going to show you how to do the envelope. This is the envelope, but I already cut up that other piece to show you, so I can't do that, but you, we've done it many times and you can always do that. All right, let's flip the camera. Close your eyes. And here we go. So, oh my goodness, we had lots of little mishaps, but that's just what happens when you go live. So if you're doing it by yourself, you it wouldn't, some of these things wouldn't happen. Oh, thank you. You like the bow. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate that, girls. Um, so let's see once. Um, next week, I will be flying to Wisconsin on Tuesday. I have a project already planned not completely yet. So I may do a Facebook Live on Monday or I might um, record it and post it Tuesday. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. So <coughs> thank you so much. This is one of the glasses we got at Backstage in New Orleans last week. Oh, thank you, Jan. Thanks, Martino. And so I will hope to see you again next week, but it might be a different day and time. So, all right, have a good week. Thanks so much for following along. And be sure if you're on a YouTube or Facebook, but you thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things so that you can, um, you can share with and send it to others. Alrighty, thanks so much, ladies. Uh, you all have a good week. I'll see you next week. Bye.